want to read an email I got to, uh, today, and it's rare that I get to an email on the same day that, um, or I should say doing a video on an email the same day that I actually got it. So um, I'm going to leave the last name off on this one. The first name is Angeli, and it says, good day. I honestly don't know how to be, how will I be able to reach Robert? Well, you reached him here. Um, I'd like to know his answers to this question. I have a male Belgian Malinois, now 18 months old. He keeps on growling at my children. There was even a time that he attacked my eldest and youngest on two different occasions, and good thing I was there to stop him. It's not happening all the time. Um, it's like he sometimes can't recognize my children. Trust me, he recognizes your children. I had him when he was four months old, and he showed that kind of behavior when he was about five months old. One thing is that he's displaying that behavior most of the time when I'm beside him. That's not a surprise. He's very protective of me, but I can't understand why he would be protecting me from my children. You're in denial here, Angeli. Um, I believe he was maltreated by his breeder. And that's the first BS everybody always gives me. The, the dog was maltreated. The dog probably wasn't maltreated. Because um, you say, because on his first month with us, he was very scared and was always under a chair, a table. Also, his head always looking down, tail down. And more than likely, the reason is that because he wasn't familiar with his new surroundings. It wasn't maltreated. He was confused. And that's where you need to come in and give this dog structure. And because you haven't, you're facing this problem here. Um, also, he would pee when he's scared. That's piddling and that's a lot of times excitement. Um, so um, until now, he's like that, always going under my legs, my chair when I'm seated, and you allow this behavior to continue. You allow the dog, you reinforce the dog's behavior. First of all, th whoever sold you this dog um, did not do you a favor and was very um, irreputable because you don't know the breed. If the dog is scared, you don't reinforce the fear by saying, oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You should have worked with a trainer early on. I love him very much and I want this issue resolved because my partner is hurting him when he's showing him aggression, aggressive behavior towards my children, which I understand, but I don't want him getting hurt. First of all, the dog's not going to get hurt. Your partner's going to get bit and he's going to get bit really hard by this dog and then you're going to end up putting the dog down. So if you really love this dog, you're going to get a qualified trainer. You're, gonna, you're not going to look at anything on the internet. You're going to get a good trainer, hopefully somebody who does Mondio Ring, French Ring, or IPO. Somebody who understands this breed and is going to work with more a really solid AKC trainer. Not a cookie trainer, not a clicker trainer. Somebody who understands this breed can give the dog the structure because your partner hitting this dog is bull, bull you know what, and you coddling this dog. This dog is in this whacked out spectrum where he can't even understand what's going on and he's, he's lost. A Malinois is a super strong breed that needs super good structure and you're failing this dog horribly. Um, the only person he never growled at or attacked is me. He loves me. We, you, you don't know he loves you. I mean, the problem is he's... Uh, anyway. Okay, and then here it goes. I know that. Okay, so he loves me. I know that. And he even utters the word mama. Please help me and my fur baby. So a dog is not a fur baby. It's not a baby. It's not a human. It needs structure. You, if you love this dog, you've had him since he was four months old, he, I guarantee you, I would, I would bet money I don't have, he was not maltreated or abused by the, by the breeder. He was confused when he got to you. You didn't give him structure. You didn't do obedience training with him. You didn't give him the structure he needed to survive as a dog and especially as a protection dog, as a, as a, as a well uh, bred, I hope the dog was well bred, as a dog that needs structure, needs obedience, needs a job to do. This is a breed that needs a job to do. It's not a couch potato that's going to sit under your chair and say, Mama, that's crap. That's just really BS. And I, I need to call you on that, Angeli, because it's complete BS. You need to get your butt in gear. You need to get this dog to a trainer or the next place you're going to be taking this dog is to the vet to put him down. And I'm praying that you listen to me because you failed this dog miserably, but you got a chance. If he's 18 months old, you still got a chance with the dog, but get your partner to stop hitting him. Keep the dog away from your kids because your kids, I don't know if your kids teased him or did, did whatever, but for a Malinois to be growling at kids, either he wasn't associated with him early on, which we know he was because he was with you since he was four months old. So you did not do a good job in either watching your children if they did, if they did do anything, if they poked him or prodded him or teased him or anything like that. You didn't watch that because that could be something that's going on. Otherwise, I cannot imagine, I cannot imagine a dog that you've had since it was four months old that it would be growling at your children at 18 months old and biting and attacking your children. I mean, a Malinois is a high prey drive dog, but for you to say the dog is attacking your children on two different occasions, it's, it's, it's absolutely insane. 
And if he is attacking your children, I'm, at 18 months old, I'm, tell, I'm, I'm assuming your kids are probably in the hospital or something. But if he's playing with them and nipping and doing this, you got a Malinois. And I have no idea who would sell you a Malinois when, you're, when you don't have any experience with the breed. And I hope, this, I hope people who are thinking about getting a Malinois listen to this video because this is not a breed for everybody. This is a super hard dog. Do these dogs fail miserably all the time because people don't know what to do with them. They're, they're a great, they're a spectacular breed, but it's like getting a, a Lamborghini and driving it through the parking lot. You know, that's exactly what people are doing. And then they go, oh, oh my, my Lamborghini skidded out and I hit a shopping cart. Well, it's because you're, you're stupid driving a Lamborghini in a parking lot full speed. A Malinois is, and a working line dogs are not dogs for people who have no knowledge of the breed. They're a spectacular breed for people who know, but you're going to be on this dog day and night. You're going to be working this dog, training this dog, watching this dog, and interacting with this dog all the time. That's how it is with Goofy and Maya. I love it. We just got Dwayne. We love Dwayne. Dwayne is a higher drive uh, lab than, than, um, than Jimmy, but we love it. We're, you know, we're on him, we're on him, we're on him. This is a responsibility. You got yourself into this. Angeli, you got a Malinois, you need a trainer that's going to that's going to be strong enough with this dog. The dog needs structure or you're going to be putting this dog down. And I pray to God you don't have to do that. I really, really do. I hope you can salvage this dog. But this is a very important video. I'm going to try to put this up as soon as possible because it is that important to me that you hear what I'm saying. A Malinois is not a pet dog. For the most part, you've probably got in way over your head. It's 18 months old. You love your dog. Stop telling me this BS. It's your fur baby. Stop telling me this BS. The dog utters the word mama because, right? you know, I, I have, I've never heard of that. I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy. You're anthropomorphizing the dog. Everything's going wrong with this picture. Please, please get a qualified trainer. Don't get a super heavy-handed trainer. Ain't going to work out with this dog. Please don't get a cookie trainer. Ain't going to work out with this dog. You need a balanced trainer. You need somebody who's done the sports like IPO or Mondi or French Ring or a good AKC trainer. Somebody who's going to give this dog structure, give this dog corrections, give this dog rewards, give the dog what he needs. You are not the best owner for this dog. I can tell you that right now. And I don't know if I, I would not say dump this dog at a shelter because that's, oh, maybe somebody can find a home for him. No, this dog's going to be put down. You need to work with a good trainer. Please, please do it. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up.